Let's talk about how to get into PowerDirector on your Chromebook. We're going to go to the bottom left hand side to our app launcher. And when we do, we'll just type in PowerDirector and go ahead and hit return. And when you do, PowerDirector will launch. If you go in for the first time, you might have to do some other things. Now, as is Chromebook's thing, they like to sell you stuff. So try to slide through all of the sell you stuff things and get to this screen and get to new project. When you click new project, it'll come up with your project name. Project name will be the date. Just choose project aspect ratio 16.9. And here we are. Please notice that any video or uh, camera photographs that you've already taken will show up. On the top left hand side, all of our video is there. Then any photos that you've taken are there as well. Video templates are pretty cool. A lot of them are pay for, but the free ones don't have the uh, crown in the top left hand side. So if you want to use something that doesn't, you just drag and drop and I'll show you how to do that in a second. And your music tabs are there as well. Let's say that we wanted to add video to our clip. Our working space is going to be right here. This is what's going to appear on the screen. and our different clips and things that we're going to drop in are going to go down here. Let's say, for example, we want to add something from the camera. We're just going to turn the camera on, and when we turn the camera on, you get your video and ready to go, and you hit your record, and we are recording. And you stop. There's our new clip. If we want to drop it in, if we want to preview it, you just hit the, the play button. And if you want to drop it into your clips, just hit the play, and there you go. With anything that you add, there are a zillion options in PowerDirector. So let's take a look at those options. So again, if we want to go back to our workspace, we can do that relatively easily. But let's say we want to manipulate this particular clip. You want to click on it and highlight it. And when you do, all of these different options will show up. So if you want to turn the volume up on a clip, you just crank it up. If you want to turn the volume down on a clip, you can do that too. You can also mute the clip and you can fade it in so it gets louder and fade it out so it dims out at the end of the clip. You can also audio mix, audio tool, throw any filter on that you like the filters are just kind of a plug and play so go ahead and click on them and see what they do and then that will uh, determine which filter that you like again you just really have to play for it, play with it a little bit image adjustment the same way make it hot make it cold do whatever you want um, just go through and play with it the speed you can speed up a clip now ours doesn't really have a whole lot of action but you can speed it up or slow it down. You can speed it up, as you can see here, eight times the speed or slow it down to 0.125, one eighth the regular speed. Uh, if you wanted to add some sound eff uh, some effects, most of them are uh, extra add-ons, but if you find one that doesn't say try, uh, it is built right in. So you can kind of go through and sample those as well. Fit and fill will allow you to clip the uh, clip so if you wanted to make it wider or thinner or change the size there's your option pan and zoom is what Apple calls a Ken Burns effect it will allow it to move across the screen so if you wanted to start your video up on the top left and then at the bottom right there's your pan and zoom crop you're gonna pinch the screen it gives you the pretty easy tutorial there so you can pinch and zoom depending upon what it is that you want on your screen and rotates pretty self-explanatory. So those are your basic options for video and again to get those options all you need to do is click that particular clip. Let's say that we wanted to drop in a photo um, and let's use a color board so we're going to drop in like a background pick a background color that you want I'm gonna drop in green and please notice that it goes in front of the clip that we had already if you would like to change that you can move it to the other side and back and forth now we'll click on that and again we have some options we can split the clip 
So if you want to turn it into two, you'll notice we've got all of these different options. Now we just have a green screen, so it's not really too fancy in terms of what your image does, but you can see if you drop an image what they do there. Pretty cool little stuff on the images if you select that. So again, uh, those are some options. Um, effects as well. We got those filters that we had before. Duplicate will just make your make more of the particular thing. And duration allows you to choose how long you want that on the screen. So the default setting here is two and a half seconds. You can add to the length that'll appear on your screen, or you can crank it down to one tenth of a second. You set that any way that you want to. The other way that you can do that is if you click here, you can stretch that clip out or shrink it back down. Now, I've got three photograph clips. Let's say we put one in by accident, so we want to delete one. All we need to do is click on that particular one and we'll delete it by hitting the trash can and now we're down to two. And we want to get rid of this one and we'll highlight it and we'll delete it and now we're just down to one. Let's say we wanted to drop in a video template. Click video template, and again, the ones with the crowns are pay for, but let's say we wanna choose one that we can get for free. You can preview it by hitting the play button, or you could just drop it in. Where do you wanna do it? As intro or outro. Intro is the beginning of your film, outro is the end, so we'll put it in as the outro. Here's what it will look like. We can preview that. Oh, very fancy, nice effects. And of course, all of this is editable should you so choose. Remember, if you want to edit a clip, uh, you click on that clip, and then all of our options come up below. So edit text, text uh, title designer, backdrop, etc. Well, let's say that we wanted to edit the text. So we don't want it really to say Benson Channel. Let's say we want to call it Stefan's Class. And we just simply, simply hit the check, and we're all ready to go. We'll preview it, and now we've got Stefan's class up on our screen. Let's go back to our workspace. We now have a video clip, we have a photo, we have a video template, and then music is the same thing. If you've got pre-existing music that you want to use, you're certainly welcome to do that. You can download sound clips, you can add sound clips, or if you want to, using the microphone, you can simply make your own sound if you so choose. So if you wanted to add sound effects and there, you couldn't find any, this is the way that you would do that. If you click that and you hit record, do a first audio track, click OK, and I am now recording an audio track on top of my video. Let's preview that. Okay, very good. Now please note that it cut me off because that was the end of my video. My video is only 14 seconds long. I can't run any longer than that. All you need to know pretty much about PowerDirector is when you drop things in, all you need to do is click on whatever it is that you want to edit and it, the edit options come down at the bottom of the screen. If at any point you want to go back to your home screen and look at your overall template, here's where you do that. Then if you want to play your film, move the playhead to the beginning. And if I just touch my screen, you can move your playhead whenever you want to. If I want to play my film, let's check out our film and see where we're at. And we are. If I wanted to make the screen bigger, there we go, full screen. And we're watching. And this is all thrilling and delightful. And I am now recording an audio track. This is how you're gonna drop your completed project into Drive. So when you're finished with your project and you've got everything the way that you want, you've titled it and everything else, up in the top right hand corner is the Shero. So if you click that Shero, you notice that you can send it to YouTube or Facebook, but what we wanna do is we wanna save it to our SD card. And we'll produce our video by hitting the Produce button. And it's a really short one, so it'll go really fast and it's saved to our camera rolls. We will go to save to downloads and we'll save it in our downloads folder. And we're all set. If I go to my files 
and I'll notice that it's right there. It's in my drop-in drive, ready to rock and roll. I'm just going to click on it, and I'm going to drop it right into Google Drive.